Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin on Monday. Celtic's lead at the top of the Premiership was cut to just one point this weekend after they were held by Hibernian whilst opponents Rangers hammered Aberdeen. Hibs were much improved defensively at Easter Road and kept Celtic out for most of the tie with the game ending 1-1. However, Hoops manager Neil Lennon felt his side should have had two penalties. Performance, you know, I'm not going to criticise the players. We made a tremendous start to the season and while I'm not here to criticise referees, we should have had two clear-cut penalties. Two. Not one, two. Rangers thrashed Aberdeen 5 0 to capitalise on their opponent's earlier stumble. A brace of penalties from James Tavernier, as well as goals from forwards Greg Stewart, Alfredo Morelos, and Jermaine Defoe piled on the misery for the Dons, whilst Gerard revelled in the victory. Three important points, really strong performance. I thought we were very dominant, um, created more chances. Um, so I'm very pleased, a lot of positive to take from the games. People have come in and took their opportunities, i.e. Greg Stewart. Elsewhere in the top flight, Motherwell moves up to third with a win at bottom side St Johnston. Hearts and St Mirren played out a stalemate, as did Kilmarnock and Ross County, and Hamilton Academical came from behind to beat Livingston. In the SWPL, Glasgow City closed in on their 13th successive title with an 8-1 victory. They're now 11 points above second-placed Hibs with just five matches to play. They'll also find out their Champions League fate today, with the draw for the last 16 taking place later this afternoon, and all of Europe's elite clubs in waiting. Let's have a quick look at the papers. The record have Shea Yojo claiming the Rangers are the number one team in Scotland. The Sun go with Scott Brown ready for revenge over Cluj. And the Daily Mail have their roundup of the weekend's action. Thanks for watching this morning. Make sure you stay with us here on PLZ where we'll bring you the latest news as always before the football show on tonight at 5.30.